So then when you got fired, was you gutted? Was you just think I've done a great Still job? Am. Still am. Yeah. I, I'll never get over it because, really? no, I won't because I'm a competitor, you know, yeah. I want to win. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't enter anything to yeah. come second or runner up. Yeah. And, uh, and I love people that say, you know, it's a taking part that counts. Mm. I couldn't disagree more. Mm, I agree with you. You know, for me, if you want to take part in something, that's fine. But if you want to reach your full potential, you've got to try to win. You've got to try to yeah. be the best. And um, generally, I got it to this day. Um, not because I didn't get going to business with Lord Sugar, because, you know, I'm really proud of, you know, where we're at with, with Prime. Sure. Um, but because I can't say I won. Yeah. Um, and I would have loved the opportunity to say. You did your best. Though, and I, bet, I, I, I did do my best. Between, I did uh, do my best. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not one of those that's like the taking part that's count, but mm. you can't win all the time. And I think as I've got older, I've kind of learned if I do do my best, mm. it's not the end of the world. And I think you did do as good as you probably could there. I mean, she's I, I and did. the winner was a good uh, candidate. Kind of, I think she's gone on to do really absolutely, well, yeah, and yeah. really successful. And yeah. I think you know part of the reason of applying was yeah. I wanted to become an entrepreneur. It's what I set out to do when I was young. It yeah. Finally, was the time for me to do it. Um, and I thought it's win-win. If I win, I go into business with all the sugar. How does that fail? Yeah. Um, and if I don't win, then hopefully it will raise my profile. I'll prove that I've got ability and I can set up a business with maybe a better platform yeah. than what I would with, uh, do without it. What did you learn from the show? Um, believe in yourself. Yeah. Um, I know people watch TV show and you'll probably be watching this and going, you know, you've done a TV show, you're obviously confident. I get, you know, a lot of anxieties, uh, particularly between uh, before doing speaking events and stuff, but I do them because I want to push myself. Yeah. And afterwards I feel great. Yeah. Um, and exactly the, you know, same with that. I believe that um, you can do anything. Yeah. You can do anything uh, as long as you try because all the tasks throughout, I was a top seller on each task, was a different task. I was on a market stall. I was mm. willing to get my hands dirty. I loved that. Uh, I came up with a, uh, an advertising campaign in an agency, went out to pitch it to, to uh, different people. I could do that. I pitched to retailers like Asda and, uh, and Tesco, and predominantly it's all sales, mm. but I learned so many things. And what I realized from that is actually, um, there's so many things I can do. I just never realized that I could do them. Yeah. So my kind of thing to anyone nowadays is try it. Yeah. What have you got to lose? Immediately you leave then. And um, is it life changing at this point? I mean, I don't know if you've gone from 500 mm. followers on Twitter to 30,000. I don't know what it, yeah. how it is. And then I guess there's a point where you leave goals and you decide to do, is it public speaking? Did yeah. you go straight to? So yeah. how did the talk is that immediately after that? Yeah. Um, well, obviously you... Um, because I guess there's a gap for six there months. There is, the six months, so nothing, nothing really happens for six months. It's bits really, you go back into your day job. So I went back into the regional manager job and, and carried on. Um, and then obviously um, it only starts starting maybe two weeks before they start to tell you the candidates are. Um, and obviously then it's out in the press and things happen. And honestly, nothing really changed overnight. Um, but then gradually as you get further on, I suppose the more serious end, mm. halfway through, three quarters through, yeah. that's when the surreal nature of it happens and you know you walk down the street I think I'm sure it was watched by 80 million um, viewers the last episode which would suggest you know maybe what yeah. one in one in ten people might know yeah, you yeah, yeah. that you walk yeah. past potentially yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. so somewhere uh, every day people will be coming over they'll be speaking to you they love you they yeah. hate you uh, yeah. they want you to win they want you to lose yeah. um, and it's a surreal experience going from a guy who I suppose no mates and friends like yeah. maybe most of us to yeah. then overnight being watched, loved or hated by kind of yeah. millions of people. Yeah. Was you loved then in the main or hate? Um, I was quite lucky. I'm going to say it's the edit, but they made me come across all yeah. right. So I'll tell you. You came that. across as a working class ch cheeky uh, chap. Absolutely. Yeah. And at first I was hated. I was hated because yeah. um, I think the persona they were trying to get uh, give to me was this kind of quite arrogant guy and, and I think there is a borderline between confidence and arrogant sure. I like to think I'm more confident than arrogant hopefully I'm sure uh, people that know me can be a better judge of that but at first they definitely played to this kind of overconfident guy so everything I was doing it had me telling it as it is yeah and I suppose that is the bits that they show yeah but then as you get further through there's an hour episode for 16 people then there's an hour episode for four or five mm. They get to know the real person.